Um, so, I, I, I looked at the login thing and there's uh, some Doctor Who shit going on. Apparently it's a massive controversy. Um, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> you can tell me if you want. So, what the hell is going on with Doctor Who? Like, um, I can see in the launcher that there is like, what do we got? Doctor Who is coming to EVE Online. Get ready for the ultimate sci-fi crossover. What the hell is going to happen? Alright, I'm going to click the link. What do we got? Desktop. Let's read this shit. Doctor Who is coming to EVE Online. Oh my god. Oh my god. I better turn off the Doctor Who music. When I was little, right, so uh, when this, so Doctor Who from 1963, right, this is old as, when I was really little, um, sometimes on TV, the original Doctor Who would be on, like, um, I was not born, like, um, I, w I was nowhere near born when Doctor Who came out, but, um, like, in the 80s, they would still replay the original Doctor Who series on TV, and when I was really little, like, four or five years old, this theme song would come on, on the TV, and I was scared of it. <laughs> And like, so this music would come on and like this whole thing here would play and I would get really scared and cry and I would hide from the television. So like, so yeah, I hate Doctor Who. I have a massive phobia of the original Doctor Who. Not really, but back then when I was a small child, it used to scare the shit out of me. I don't know when I was, I was just scared of the whole show. Be quiet, tracking computer. All right, so I'm going to read what this Doctor Who shit is first. And, uh, and it is shit. I haven't even looked at it yet, and I am asserting right now that it's shit. Uh, for everyone who knows me, uh, if you've been in more than one or two of my streams, you've probably heard me rant about sci-fi. I'm a huge sci-fi fan, and I'm a huge sci-fi lore fan, and I, I kind of know a fair bit about most really big popular sci-fi series and movies and books. Um, I know a fair bit about the lore of most popular sci-fi and stuff as well. So what do we got? The, the world of Doctor Who is coming to EVE Online via a limited time crossover event taking place in New Eden from the 13th of January. Doctor Who is the longest running sci-fi series of all time. Yeah, started in 1963. That's pretty cool. I hate Doctor Who, by the way. Oh my god, I fucking hate that show so much. It's absolute trash. I hope somebody in here likes Doctor Who so I can kick them out. That would be fantastic. How many people are here now? I don't know how many people are even watching. Uh, so the EVE Online X Doctor Who crossover will take place as... I'm sure you've seen The Expanse. I have seen The Expanse. I'm not caught up on The Expanse though, Mazahura. I think I'm like two seasons behind. Uh, is, is there like six seasons now? I think I've only watched the first three or the first four. Um, it's good though. Um, so the, Doctor, the uh, EVE Online X Doctor Who crossover, season six is current. Okay, cool. That's good to know. So I've still got, I can sit down and watch all of season five. I think I haven't watched any of season five. Someone who hates Doctor Who as well. Man, I've, I tried to get into Doctor Who because I like, I, I watch just about every, like, what you would consider like passable sci-fi series. If, if something's okay, it doesn't have to be good. I just watch all sci-fi movies and um, series. And Doctor Who was something that I'd never really watched ever. So I thought, okay, I'll watch some modern Doctor Who. So I watched like, I don't know what series, I don't know what series it's up to, but pro probably about five years ago, about five years ago, whatever Doctor Who series that was, I started watching it and I couldn't get through like, I think I watched like two or three episodes. I couldn't do it. It's just, it's so, I guess you would say corny, not campy. It's not campy. Like um, Red Dwarf is like campy and that's funny and sort of okay. And like um, Lex. Lex is campy and it's kind of like funny and it's okay. Doctor Who is just corny. I don't really get it. I don't get the appeal of it. Anyway, the EVE Online X Doctor Who crossover will take place as an entirely original in-game event called the Interstellar Convergence set before the Time Lords. Before the Time Lords? 400 year long conflict. Oh, before the time your Lord's 400 year conflict with the Daleks. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so it turns out EVE Online is just an alternate universe. Um, is EVE Online canon to Doctor Who? 
I guess it is now. Uh, the last great time Hello war. There. Hello there, Kelasagame. Happy New Year. I hope you are doing well. I hope I'm doing well as well. Uh, let us let us keep hoping. The interstellar convergence will be unlike any other Eve. Hello. Yeah. Oh, that's massive. I haven't resized all those pop-ups for. The, I never do my desktop view, like the view of reading my desktop. So I haven't like made it all neat. Fair enough. Whatever. I like how it's it's been a month since my last stream, and I'm still talking about how I haven't fixed my overlay yet. <laughs> everybody's everybody's right at home. We, we're all. It's like nothing ever happened. It's just like yesterday. Uh, this very special Eve event will run for over two weeks until the 1st of February. The interstellar convergence will be unlike any other Eve event before. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, uh, what do I what do? do, I do? <laughs> Introducing the big uh, the beguiling mystery. I don't know what that word is. I've read lots of words. I don't know what that is. Where is it tonight? I'm just in Pokhvan in Nani at the moment. Uh... King Wookie, I'm literally, I'm just going to undock from this station in Nani where we always are and fly around in a frigate or something because I don't know, like, let's go back to desktop, where's desktop? Uh, it will be unlike any other Eve event before introducing a beguiling mystery of tri uh, trial of clues. Is this just going to be a whole heap of like, find the dumb shit in space, like the last 47 events? Multiple challenges, themed items, and even a vibrant new area of space. A vibrant new area of space. Holy shit. Do they mean vibrant as in like active and many different things happening? Like high contrast in um, like activity? Or do they mean vibrant as in colors? It's, you're going to go to this place. It's just going to be completely dead, but it'll be like really high contrast blue and yellow colors. Here's our vibrant area, everybody. Uh, themed items and um, vibrant new area of space. Okay. Unearth Doctor Who related artifacts. Oh my god. And use them to track down the Dalek menace. Oh fuck. I can't believe you've done this. I can't this. believe they've done this. Face off against the infamous evildoers uh, in an interstellar ba battle for the ages and claim Doctor Who inspired rewards to take back New Eden. This might be the last time I play Eve, everybody. This could be it. It's the new Triggs no, invade again. God. Yeah, it's the same models as Triggs and everything. No, They're just named God, Dalek. Please, no, no. Same things. They're all flying around in Ikaturses and Kikimoras and that. It's the just the Daleks, everybody. Uh, guessing it's going to be one new combat anom, one scannable data box with rewards, and and yeah, and it's going to be a thing that you find. Like you, you know, when they do the track down the GM and stuff and you gotta try and find him in space or something like that. There'll be something like that as well. Um, to find out more about the threat that is coming to New Eden Star Cluster, keep an eye on the EVE Online news page, social channels and more. Uh, there's much to be learned about how wormhole-like phenomena oh my gosh. Uh, what do I do? Uh, have been taking ships from New Eden to an unknown area of space. It's just Triglavian space. They're gonna be going through um, Oh, I forgot what they're called now. What do you call them? Filaments. Yeah, they've been no, filling them, filamenting God. into abyssal filaments. No, God, please, no, no. Uh, an unknown area of space littered with wrecks of unknown vessels and traces of others that have moved on. But what do these traces mean? Abyssal traces. Not trig space, but dialect space. You go in there and there's just trigs with no, different names. God. That's all it is. Uh, and what Please, does this have no, to do with no. the dialects? Discover more starting the 1 3th of January. Okay. One thing you can do. There's something there. What is that? It's a James Webb telescope. Hello there. That would be more interesting. They should have done a James Webb crossover telescope. Okay, one thing you can be sure of is that the interstellar convergence will be one of the most distinct, engrossing, more just like grossing, events ever to take place in EVE Online. Whether you are in, whether you are a diehard fan of the Time Lord's Adventures, is there anyone who is a diehard fan of the Time Lord's Adventures? Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've oh done God. this. 
or entirely new to Doctor Who. What's more, the interstellar convergence. So there's no in between. You're either a diehard fan of the Time Lord or you're entirely new to Doctor Who. They're completely discounting 98% of people who aren't new to Doctor Who and don't like it because that's most people. What's more, the Interstellar Convergence has been designed from the ground up to offer experienced oh Eve gosh. players plenty of fresh and do? captivating gameplay while remaining welcoming to new pilots, including Doctor Who fans who are new to EVE Online. Oh my god, actually I was reading today, um, so obviously you read like on this EVE subreddit, everyone's going nuts about the Doctor Who stuff, oh it's all terrible and everything, and then you look on like the Doctor Who subreddit, and people on there are going nuts about how shit it does as well. <laughs> like nobody likes this. Want to keep up with all the EVE Online Doctor Who news and updates, blah blah blah, click a thing. Okay, so what do we got? We got a video. Let's click it. I guess it depends on which Doctor Who people watched. Yeah, Killer's Game, I was just saying that I've only ever watched a couple of episodes and I didn't bother getting into it. Um, so as a joke, I'm going to say that, um, I mean, like, I don't like the show and, and it's fine if other people like the show, but as a joke from here on in, I'm going to say that the joke is sh the show is shit and I hate it and everybody else should hate it. So be warned. Is that Doctor Who? Was that a TARDIS? Is that a TARDIS? Is that a TARDIS? Holy shit, it's a dialect. Okay. Yeah, Elon Star Musketeer. I was an Eve partner. I'm no longer an Eve partner. <laughs> so I can say whatever I want now. I used to have to do the Eve partner filter of don't openly completely shit can the game. At least don't tell people not to play the game. Whereas now I'm no longer an Eve partner, so I can do whatever I want. Ha <laughs> ha. So anyway, that's the Doctor Who shit. Whatever. Oh no, we've still got the Herder on. Okay, Herder off. Where's the game? Okay, what do we got? We've got two people in the local station here. Um, 